about a year ago we needed a bigger fridge uh, so basically I managed to pick up this fridge uh, Hoover Contour for the best price ever free uh, we didn't actually know if there was anything wrong with it or not but when we got it home we found out that um, there was uh, when the compressor cut in it would make a really heavy thunk noise and also it only sort of cooled down to about 8 degrees Celsius which wasn't cool enough I thought that maybe it needed a regas, but just for shits and giggles, uh, I thought I'd check the thermostat. Um, usually in these fridges, the thermostat's in, inside this device here. Uh, and usually what it's got is a mechanical thermostat and um, it'll switch on the compressor and off the compressor if once it gets to a certain temperature. Uh, usually the, the hot or live wire goes in one side and then um, uh, lead directly to the compressor from there. Um, so I looked at the price of a thermostat and it was pretty pretty expensive. It might have been about 150 bucks. So I thought I'd use what I actually had in stock, which is um, a little PID controller. It's uh, a Rex Dash C100. They sell on eBay for about 15 US dollars. They come with a little thermo couple. Now, being a PID controller, you, you really don't want to use a PID controller on uh, a motor because the way a PID controller works is it switches on and off the load to try and keep the temperature at a very precise level. Um, you don't want to be switching on and off a compressor very rapidly at all. So we don't actually use the PID controller section of it. Uh, luckily on these units, there's a alarm output. And basically what that does is if you go two degrees above your set point, it turns a relay on and, uh, you know, for a flashing light or, or whatever, like if you were in an industrial process, that's what it would be for. But uh, I co-opted it and I used that relay output to switch the compressor on. So my set point's three degrees. When it gets to five degrees, the compressor goes on. When it gets back down to three degrees, the compressor goes off. Had it for about a year now and um, doing this and it works perfectly. It's it's really excellent. How did we do it? Well, first of all, we needed to find somewhere that we could drill into the side. All right. Um, the easiest way to do that is to put your hand on the side of the fridge when it's cooling. And if you find that it's warm on the side of the fridge, uh, don't drill there because that's usually where, uh, that means that there's um, a coil in the side of the fridge. So you've got to find somewhere that you can drill safely. I got this small black plastic box and drilled a hole through, got the, the um, wires through from the thermostat, fitted the PID controller in the edge of this box uh, and then basically um, used metal screws to affix it and I also used silicon sealant behind it. Silicon sealant actually makes quite a good glue. Uh, been really highly successful. What we found was that uh, there was actually nothing wrong with the uh, the compressor. It, there was plenty of gas in it. As soon as we added this, the clunk stopped in the compressor too. So basically, that mechanical thermostat must have been completely buggered. Um, <clears throat> we also got a. I'm lucky enough to have a friend who's a Sparky. I cannot emphasise enough. Do not do the power of this yourself. Uh, when your sparky comes up, make sure that you've completely unplugged the power before you start fooling around with this. Many, many people die every year mucking around with electricity when they don't understand it. I had my electrician sparky here with me the whole time. Um, they don't charge a huge amount per hour, so it's absolutely worth getting them. Um, I can show you now how you set it. Set, press the set button. I'll get the compressor to turn on now. I'll set it down to zero degrees there you go yeah, the compressor just came on I'll turn off the compressor now so I'll set it up to about seven degrees and off we go so that there actually shows the current value and that there shows the um, um, the set value in the back of the fridge you can see the thermocouple just there. 
We've run it into a little container of water. It just helps buffer it. Um, stops the fridge turning on and off when you open it. Yeah, been really highly effective. Cheers, guys.